Wait, someone stole your credit card info to buy subscriptions on OnlyFans? That is a man of culture. <laughs> that is a man of culture right there, let me tell you, dude. That is a man of culture right there. You're already attached? Oh no. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. I, I think a lot of people know this, but if you live somewhere and you have a US bank, if you travel like really far away or to another country or something like that, you have to tell your bank that you're going because if not, then sometimes they will like block your, like they will like just like block it because they think it's like a suspicious transaction, right? Like they basically like think, you know, like there's a good chance you might've gotten it stolen or something like that, right? So like if you like go far away from where you normally live, right? And you're making transactions that doesn't make a lot of sense for you to make, then the bank might stop it and you just be like, no. So I remember the very, very first time I was gonna travel to the US, I had like one of my friends that was American tell me like, Linkus, you should really call your bank and tell them you're going to America because otherwise you might get your like card completely blocked when you come here. So I was like, oh really, that's a thing? And it was like, yeah, the banks do that. So I called my bank and I was like, hi, I, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm traveling to the United States. And they were like, okay, is there a problem? And I was like, uh, no, I just wanted to let you guys know so that like uh, you don't block any of my transactions and they're like <laughs> and the, the girl on the phone was like we don't need to know that <laughs> uh, And she was like, okay, thanks for letting us know I guess uh, have a good time in the US. And I was like, uh, thanks <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she thought I called in just to flex on the bank. Yeah No, since then I've never called my bank to let them know about anything. No, so basically, it's kind of funny. So basically, back in the day, right? Back in the good old days on Twitch, you weren't allowed to show any nipples on stream, right? So you were not allowed to be shirtless at all. And one day I was wanting to stream, but it was really, really hot in my room, right? It was really, really hot. So I got the camera and I faced the camera up towards the ceiling. So all you saw was my shoulders, my head, and then my, and then like my, and like the ceiling of my room. And that was all you saw. And I was sitting there completely just in my underwear. That was the only thing I was on. Like I literally just sat in just my underwear and nothing else. And that was the only thing I was wearing. So I was just literally only wearing my, um, my underwear. And I was streaming like that. The worst part about this though, is that back then I was still like a social kid. So I still actually like used to hang out with friends. And I, the reason it was so hot, it was because it was summer break and things took a bad turn for the worst. Because as I was sitting there in just my underwear playing Super Mario 64, right? My friends came by my house and knocked on my door. And my mom just let them in. She was like, oh yeah, Linus is upstairs. You can go up upstairs and see him. So my mom just let my all my friends into the house. And you know, I'm just sitting there streaming. I hear footsteps in the stairs and I'm not thinking much of it, right? I'm streaming Mario 64 in my underwear. You know, now mind, mind my own business. And then the door opens up and then there's like four of my friends right there. They just walk in and they're just like, what the hell are you doing? I'm just sitting there. <laughs> In, my, in just my underwear, playing Mario 64. Uh, I felt very, very embarrassed. I just slammed my laptop shut. I was like, nothing. Yeah, let me just put on some clothes and let's go outside. You should have made eye contact to establish dominance. Is that how it works, Chad? <laughs> really? Oh, no, I thought I was going to make it to the top. If you get to the very, very top... Oh, crap. So slow. When you get to the very, very top, you don't lose stamina anymore. So I just assumed that I was gonna make it to the top. I must have been like a few pixels off. That's really dumb. Yeah, like right, like that. You gain stamina where at the top. No, are you serious? The B input went in before the A, dude. I'm like losing all the time I was ahead by here. This is so dumb. Sad. Have I been practicing? Of course, I've been practicing tons. It's true, I practiced a lot of Hitman 3 offline yesterday, Chad. H Hello, sign? Dude, some of the hitboxes in this game is always gonna weird champ me. Huh? What? Never mind, I'm losing time here. I'm losing like 25 seconds to that. That is such a dumb way to lose like 25 seconds to 30 seconds. Give me a Switch Pro. Switch Pro would have faster loading times here. Where's my Switch Pro? 
What a dumb way to lose a bunch of time here, dude. Does anyone think it's funny that Link is asleep with Pia Split was 30 seconds slower? Listen, the 30 second time save did not come from that, what you're thinking about, okay? I just, I did the things leading up to the night faster, okay? It was not the night itself that went faster. <laughs> that is not what happened, okay? Okay? I might not have ran the game for two months, okay? But, that's... <laughs> it's, that, that's... Chat, it's not what it looks like, okay? It's not what it looks like. That, that, that's unrelated, okay? Speaking from experience is what it looks like, Link is- No, 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 no. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about, man. The fact that it feels the need to explain it seems a bit sus, though. No, I just like explaining things on my stream, that's all. What? Hello? Huh? Excuse me, game? That Korok was just gone. It's just like my mods, dude. The Korok was just gone. Um, so I should be fine. Whoop! Those legs, dude! Holy crap! <laughs> Guardian, are you okay? Am I thinking of the next one? <laughs> that launch, dude. What the hell? Die! Yo, what's up, Point Crow? How was your sleep? How are you enjoying Breath of the Wild Hundo? Oh crap. It's fun watching your VODs throughout the Divine and Feast. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think my VODs would definitely be a good starting point, because I don't- uh, there's a- um, I go for almost the entire- uh, from either for the shrines, either the fastest route, or if there is, like, a minor thing you can do to save, like, a few seconds, then I do the- the 5 ed strat that is not the craziest one. How's my IRL cooking skills, Linkus? Out of this world, dude. They're so good that they can never be captured on video because it would make the rest of the world just way too jealous of my cooking skills. I don't think I can ever show it. It would just be too much of a flex. Now, I actually cook food quite frequently, but when it comes to what I cook at home, the only thing I cook is I buy frozen Swedish meatballs and I make macaronis. So, I am very good at boiling water with pasta in it, and I'm very good at putting frozen Swedish meatballs in a pan. That's about it. I'll tell you the answer in 40 minutes after watching an episode of Hell's Kitchen. Actually, that is true. When I was modding uh, the man with the plan, I actually donut walled him so hard. I literally went into my into the general discord because my mods were like, you should mod the man with the plan. And I was like, all right, if all my mods think so. So I added the man with the plan and I was like, yo, man, you around? And he's like, yeah, what's up, man? And then I went, so here's the thing. And then I literally just went bye bye for like 40 minutes straight because I started an episode of Hell's Kitchen. So I literally was gone for like 40 minutes and I came back and I was like, oh, hi. So I was watching Hell's Kitchen. Uh, here, here's your mod. <laughs> After that, you're out of bounds. Now you walk to the right, you climb up here, you fall back into bounds, easy clap. That's everything you need to do. And that, my friends, is how you skip the Yiga clan. I can do that. Yes, you, Chad. Everyone can. Can Point Crow do it? Okay, some people can, but most people can. No, yeah, Chad. Even Point Crow can do that clip out of bounds. Can my mom do it? I think so. My my dad knows how to bil and do and do fall damage cancel. So, if he can learn that, I'm sure your mom can learn that clip. Am I doing this because of Point Crow? Yes, I'm only doing Ref the Ball 100% because of Point Crow. <laughs> I was ne I, I told Chad I would never do a Breath of the 100% unless Point Crow picked it up. And if you're wondering why, it's just to show everybody how much better I am at Point Crow and Breath of the Wild. Because he has he has the double amount of uh, gameplay hours that I have in Breath of the Wild. And I'm still going to be able to beat Breath of the 100% even though I started 30 hours late. Yeah, for some reason, Xbox Live always tried to like flex about how many times people had <laughs> hung out with my mom, dude. I don't know how, but there was just so many people on my Xbox Live lobbies that had hung out with my mom. Like, there was just so many of them. I don't get how so many of them knew my mom. Like, constantly, every single time I go in a lobby, they'd hung out. I don't have three shafts! Are you serious? I was that unlucky? I didn't get any single bot. 
I literally want to reset just based upon that purely, dude. I haven't gotten any ancient course, and you're kidding me? I didn't even get three of how many guardians I killed? Are you serious? Not this again, dude. I'm gonna lose so much time to this. I absolutely despise this video game with all I got. Oh my god. I want to cry. All right, here we go, chat. So, here is the RNG part. I'm gonna make it morning here, and I need to wish for a few things. A, doesn't rain. B, that the dragon spawns down here. The dragon, if I'm unlucky, can spawn all the way at the top of the mountain, and that's a big, sad, big oof. We want it, uh, that's a fang. We want it to constantly spawn at the bottom, and we don't want rain. Oh my god, rain. Dude, I swear to god, don't spawn on top of the mountain as well. Oh my god, are you s dude, I'm losing so much time to this dragon. I've already- this is three spawns at the top. Already, dude. Three spawns at the top and rain. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um... Chad, I don't want to alarm you, but we lost a lot of time to this dragon. Like, a lot of time. I could save 2 minutes and 24 seconds. I have already lost a minute. So we have already lost almost 4 minutes in total on this dragon right here. This is really bad. Oh, man. The thing is, I should really be ahead at this point. Because also, I'm 2 Koroks behind. And I got bad RNG on the Guardians, so I need to extra farm Guardians, which is going to be an additional two minutes. And I don't have Bombs Plus, which loses me time on every single mid-air BIL I'm doing. And I won't have a chance to back that up until way later. So I have to, like, I'm, I have to spend an additional minute upgrading my Bombs, which I should have already done. I have to farm Guardians for my extra Guardian Core, core parts, because I didn't get Guardian Cores uh, when I killed, like, all of them in Hyrule. So... There's a lot more time as well. And I have to back up the two Koroks. One fast, one slow. I am probably about 10 minutes behind with everything in mind right now. And I'm a dragon part behind on Dinral. Because I also got trolled by Dinral earlier in the run. I just didn't even mention it because I just expected it. Like, I definitely made mis gameplay mistakes in this run, but this run is not as bad as the other run. The other run was completely down to me. This run, even though I do make, did make some mistakes, RNG alone in this run was about eight, 8 minutes alone here. RNG really kicked my ass here.